For me, Pitt Medden is a real celebration of the bravery of the trust to say, here's a section of the garden which is underperforming that we think we can do something with. And the original idea behind the design was very much inspired by what Pitt Medden is perhaps most famous for, which is the parterres on the lower terrace. And that was certainly of its time. But what we wanted to do here is to reflect it and bring it right up to date. We went back to the original designs of the historic section of the garden and it's those patterns which are now very subtly imposed as grass paths through this terrace on the house garden. Well we're absolutely delighted to have been given support by uh, Professor Ian Young and his wife Sylvia who've made very generous donations to the Trust over many years and in particular have uh, made possible the commissioning of this new garden. In the new garden design, it combines something which is wholly modern uh, and creates a wonderful new experience uh, for people. But it does it in such a way that it respects the, the heritage uh, of this place. Uh, Chris Spiritual's design and all the work that he has done with our wonderful team there uh, reimagines that, if you like, and draws the whole garden together in new ways. And that seems to me to be very special indeed. Asking a gardener what a favourite plant in a garden is nearly impossible. It's like asking a parent to pick their favourite child. We have to decide that, in fact, gardens need to be less input and higher impact. They need a lot less resources and we shouldn't be using chemicals and fertilisers and just allowing plants to be the stars of the show. So this one particular area will then inform how we manage the rest of the gardens in this property and other properties in a more sustainable fashion. For me, what is important is the sense that this garden is appealing to a new generation of gardeners because it looks very different to a conventional trust garden. We're using plants in a slightly different way. We're walking amongst the borders rather than viewing the borders from afar. So it's a very immersive, a very connective experience. And also it's about biodiversity. It's about encouraging the birds and the wildlife in. And it's important for people to understand that these are, these are common garden plants. You know, if we can grow them here at Pitt Medden, you can pretty much grow them at your home, wherever you are. Gardens are constantly changing. They're transient spaces. They reflect who we are as people and as a society. And so it's absolutely relevant that a garden like this sits right in the heart of historic Pitt Medden.